It's Two on the I.O. with me, Charles Gross, and Jeff Goodman. Tonight, Leslie Holden Blank guest stars as we review Hamlet, Rogology, Steady Rain, and After Miss Julie. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Two on the Isle. I am the aforementioned Charles Gross. And I am the aforementioned Leslie Hilden Blake. Leslie, I would like to welcome you. Leslie tonight is making her Two on the Isle debut. She is a vice president of the Prestige Drama Desk, mm -hmm. the organization that, of course, not coincidentally, gives out the Drama Desk Awards Absolutely. every year. Of which you are a member. Yes, well. I am. Yes, and very proud to be. Mm -hmm. And also a writer for theatermania.com. Mm -hmm. Now, talk about star quality. Oh, Our next oh, show. Oh, still my heart. <laughs> total star quality. Total. This is A Steady Rain with Daniel Craig, who is, of course, the current James Bond, mm -hmm. and Hugh Jackman, who is Wolverine. Wolverine. <laughs> and, you know, I've, I've heard many a critic say the guys could read a phone book. I would they, watch those guys read a phone book. Right. I would pay the money to watch those guys read a phone book. Right. Oh, they're marvelous. The play isn't necessarily marvelous, but they are, and I had a perfectly wonderful time because of that. But uh, I think maybe I, I get to talk about this okay, one a little bit. Um, it's a very non-original story. Mm -hmm. You start watching it, and you think you're watching an episode of Law and Order as two monologues because they never talk to each other. This is the, unfortunately we've had so much Irish drama where there are monologues and people don't talk to each other on stage. They, 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 they almost talk to each other. They're, they're standing next to each other, but they're not talking to each other. And they're each well, they, telling... Well, they do talk to each other. Well, times. they're each telling their side of the same story. And, and you don't know. You, it winds up being good cop, bad cop without giving away too much. But as you they do it... You give away a little more. Well, but as they do it, you start to feel that I've seen this on Law and Order, or I read this in the newspaper headline. There's a little bit of a, the Jeffrey Dahmer stories in there, a little bit about dirty cops, and a little bit about... Uh, cops and wives, and, and I, I don't really want to tell more of the story than that because I, it's, it's got a bit of a run left, and, and people are going to go. This play is, is critic proof. Nobody's, it doesn't matter. It doesn't run four hours. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's a perfect. Seems like it runs four hours. Oh, did it to you? Uh, oh, yes. No, nah, see, I was perfectly happy with it. But as I say, I, I'm a Law and Order fan, so that, that didn't matter. Well, you know something? I'm a Law and Order fan, too. Uh -huh. and, I, and I have to say that I don't think this play was as good as an episode of Law and oh, Order. Oh, no, no. I don't think it was particularly good. I H think. H here you've got, you've got uh, Jack, basically have uh, Craig playing a co cool and collect, honest cop. Mm -hmm. And you have Jackman playing the. Well, kind of a Wolverine kind of guy because he's a loose cannon, mm -hmm. and he has been known to bend the rules mm -hmm. a little to the, the dirty, point, to the point of corruption. He's a dirty cop. Yeah, yeah, he is. And but here's the thing: uh, the these two supposedly have known each other since childhood, mm -hmm. and they are police partners together. And, and, and Hugh Jackman looks twenty years younger than Daniel Craig on stage. Well, you know what? <laughs> even put well. You, I, I, you could account to that because Jackman's character would be a little younger. He'd be mm -hmm. the unshaven one. Mm -hmm. He'd be the untidy run, which, mm -hmm. you know, Craig would be the, the more refined, which, you know, if you dress up, you tend to look a little older. Well, they gave him a mustache and made him look dowdy. Yeah. So, you know. But there is absolutely no chemistry between these two actors. No, they each have individual chemistry, though. Yeah, but that's that's their persona, perhaps, or the fact that they're or their stage present. Mm -hmm. But you want them together. If you if you wanted an individual, have them each do a one man see, show. They don't they don't interact. But that's the whole point. They don't really talk to each other. You think and they did, but they don't. They tell their stories as these Irish. I wish that. I, I'm not sure if this is a good or a bad genre, but it's a whole new genre now of Irish monologue people who don't talk to each other. <laughs> and it started way back with, uh, it, it's not a new thing. I mean, Hugh Leonard did one of these uh, a few years ago. But the idea is that they tell the story and they each get wonderful stage time and they're moved around a lot. So, you know, they, they're given quite a good deal of movement. Uh, so it's not static in that sense. But they're, they're separate. And, 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 and you, you may not feel they're equal. Mm -hmm. But they, they are really, uh, as I say, I'm, I'm just happy watching them, you know. I, I, I was not. <laughs> you know, I am thinking you've got some very talented actors mm -hmm. here. Hugh Jackman especially. We've seen him on stage mm -hmm. before. Uh, you may have seen him do Oklahoma on uh, Channel yep. 13. He did it in England and then they broadcast it. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, Craig Daniels is actually making his Broadway debut, but he has excessive uh, credits from in England. Well, we saw Hugh Jackman do, do Oz, a Boy yes, from Oz. Boy from Oz, I mean. yes. Oh, we, we, we've seen him do some wonderful things on stage. Mm -hmm. But this isn't going to be one of them. And again, you're right. This is critic proof because these are just two such major stars mm -hmm. that people, if they they could just sit around. Well, it's a short enough run. You know, this is it's the idea of how do you keep a show going, and this is a short enough run 
with, a, with big enough names that uh, it ought to even make its money back. I, I'm sure it will, but bottom line is it's, it's, a, it's a poor show, and, and it's a shame that you don't have them, intera you don't have them interacting. Mm. And if you do, there's still no There should be something. Even you should, ha you should feel some sort of bond between these two people mm -hmm. because, again, they have a lifelong history together. Well, that's their story is and the I, bond. Yeah, but, but it doesn't, it, I, don't, I didn't, didn't feel that it. between them. I didn't see that. There's, there should have been some interaction. There mm -hmm. should have been some chemistry between them. Mm -hmm. And there was, you know, they, they do acknowledge each other, so they, so they could they could have interacted with each other better, hmm. or the playwright could have maneuvered it so that they would have something to each other, or maybe it's the maybe it's the direction. I don't know, you know, but there was really, except if you want to see these guys live on stage, there's okay, the answer. There, there's there the it answer. is, there but it is. <laughs> there's nothing else to okay. recommend, you know, scrap the play, get out the phone book. <laughs> okay.